Max, and I'm a rising junior in Moz, and uh, as a product, I'm going to put tissue box. So, tissue box, it moves, and it lights up. So, and I even have another modification on the way. So, my tissue box, well, originally it started out as just one ultrasonic sensor, two wheels, two motors, a motor driver, and an Arduino. So, the ultrasonic sensor sends out a very high frequency sound, which bounces off a wall and returns, and it can sense how long it's been since the sound has reached the return. And using that, it can tell how far away that how far away something is. So I reach my hands over, and I pull a tissue out, and that wheel starts spinning. Can okay. you get it up on the screen? Yeah, that wheel starts spinning. That looks better. Yeah. So. For the sake of the you know, for the sake of it not rolling off the table right now, I only have one wheel on. Okay, and uh, so the motor driver is self-explanatory. It moves the motors. It it sends the power to them. It it takes a signal from the Arduino, which I've programmed to send power whenever it's there, something within 20 centimeters of each ultrasonic sensor. So the first modification I made was I added a second ultrasonic sensor. So no matter which way, either you reach from this way or you reach from this way the tissue box will always roll away from you. So, say I'm reaching towards this way, I don't really want it to roll, roll away right now. So, it will come, if I was reaching away from this side, it would come towards me, like that. So, my, second, my next modification was, I added a Bluetooth module to the Arduino, which means, uh, you all know what Bluetooth is, you have it on your phone, it can communicate with your headphones, with a smartwatch, or anything like that. But I use it to send signals from this Android to the Arduino to start my light sequence. For in the future, my, for my next modification, a speech to text based message system. So I just really want to talk about my experiences at Blue Stamps and the challenges I've had. So the challenges I've had, one, it was just, it was, it was hard to do. Even though, as Sam said, I did everything in 15 minutes or 20 minutes, it was still really hard because I came into this with no experience. You know, I had to drill holes, I had to connect all the wires in the right sequence, I had to make sure the wheels stayed on the axle. And it was just, it was so much fun and so rough. And, <laughs> I, <laughs> and I enjoyed it every second of the way. So, and I want to reflect. So I came in knowing one person who was coming in at the same time for a two week period while I was doing six weeks. So over that six week period, I made so many new friends. I can name half of them right now, but I really, I only have five minutes. So, <laughs> and I, I just enjoyed meeting all of you, whoever's in this room. I, if I can, I'd, I'd love to speak to you again after, with it outside of the setting of just engineering. And I really, I really loved it. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I hope that if you have any other kids or if any, other, if any younger students are here, you join the project because it was just so amazing. I had so much fun. Thank you if you guys have any questions. <laughs> any questions? Can I have a tissue, please? <laughs> 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 yes, of I don't know if you've thought about this, but say, do you, what can you get it to respond to a speed? Where that might be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think about that, but it's a good idea. <laughs> 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 <laughs>